Today, we're doing beef. Beef a la barbecue. Stick around. Yes, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, attack helicopters. Welcome. Welcome to the latest recipe. The latest edition of Ted Cooks. Yes, Ted, tell us all about what your favorite food is. Hello. My favorite animal to eat. Oh, I must say, I do like beef. Cow, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, thanks, Ted. It seems that was all a bit much from his. He's already tuckered out. Sleeping on the job again, Ted. Goodness, it looks like it's down to yours truly, the Field Marshal, and Her Majesty Pym, Queen of the Pirates, to make this recipe come together. Yes, today we're doing beef. Beef a la barbecue. Stick around. Right, well, here we are. Preparatory work has been happening in the kitchen. Her Majesty Pym, Queen of the Pirates, has been preparing the portions of beast for the applying of some calories to them, some heat energy to uh, to sear them. Tell us a bit about that process, Your Majesty. I'm just cutting. Mm, good. Mm. Very technical. Yes, yes. cut in pieces that can go on the barbecue. Cutting to pieces, the barbecue, meaty bits. Mm. Mm. Yes, there's a lot of meat there, isn't there? How long will that feed us, plus two doggies? Because they get the... Uh, well, the fat is mine, the other shit is this. Yes, that shit. <laughs> they can't have my fat. No, no. But, uh, yeah, that's a it's lot of... It's probably six, seven kilos there. Six or seven kilos of beastie bits. What do you think, Fluffy? Do you like that? Is that good? Mm. Oh, do you want some? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? Yes. Do you want some? No. All right. Well, um... Ted, what do you think? Has, has Her Majesty Pym done a good job of preparing the beastie bits? Yeah. Oh, oh good. So, um, yep, meaty bits. We just now need to wait for the calorie sauce over here to settle down a bit and become more ready for the searing process. It's a bit much at the moment, don't you think, Ted? Yeah. Yeah. Um... Yes, Fluffy's ready, of course, aren't you, Fluff? You're always ready for the possibility of a bit of a feed. Right, so here is the ingredients for today's recipe. Beef. Beef. Today's recipe is called beef a la barbecue. Uh, well, I suppose the other ingredient then is barbecue, really. Here's one I prepared a few minutes ago. See you a bit later on for action. Right, time for method on the latest recipe called beef. What we're going to do now that the fire has burned down somewhat and we have some embers and just a little bit of flame is we're going to put a sear on the outside of these hunks of cow. Just a sear, mind, nothing else. And then we'll get back to you with the next step after we've done the sear. But let's check out the addition of a portion of meaty bits to the... Oh, that's still connected as one piece. Okay. There we go. So we just... Plonk. And... Plonk. Woo, there's some big punks there, Your Majesty Pym, Queen of Pirates. So we've got 15 pounds or so of cow. Lovely. So just a few minutes, turn it around, get a sear on the whole surface, and then it goes back to Pim in the kitchen for another divisive little procedure, which we'll tell you about at the time. See you then. Right, the searing procedure is complete. I've given the outside of each of these four chunks of beef a light searing, really just to cover the outside and the ends. What happens now is Her Majesty Queen of the Pirates Pym will slice the beef into steak-like portions and as you'll see 
the color of those is still as it should be. What happens next is the steaks for today's consumption and perhaps for the next few days will be cooked to the individual liking of the various members of the household and they will be refrigerated, those that won't be eaten immediately. The rest will be sliced and frozen for a later date and it can then be thawed and the cooking continued either barbecue style or indeed using the traditional methodology, the traditional methodology or even the other traditional methodology. So that's the method. Join me soon for the continuation of the barbecue cooking. Have you gotten yet? Has your whinging paid off yet? Has it? No. No? Oh, she's a tough taskmaster as the Queen of Pirates, isn't she? Yes. She's paying no attention to your begging at all, is she? Where's the good one? Ah, there she is. Are you being good? Hmm? Are you? Excellent. Well, I forgot all about this bit. Yes, it's the adding of sodium and chloride in the form of sodium chloride. Yes, very important. There it is. Salt. Very good. Get away, flies. This is the next thing. There is, by the way, you can get these fine, fine meat militia mugs <laughs> if you go to the merchandise section on my fine, fine channel. Uh, these are just plug. Yes, well, these are approved by Ted, His Majesty Ted. Mm. See you soon. Here is the prepared steaks in thick and thin cuts. The thick cuts are for those that like a bit pink in the middle. The thin cuts are for the one who likes it well done. So the next step is to place the steaks over the calorie source, the heat energy, thus adding calories to the meaty portions. Isn't it fluff? Yes. And as such, they get a jolly good dose of calorizing, don't they? Yes, good. Will I lose weight if I eat them raw? Oh, yes. Cool. Plus, apparently also, if you eat them raw, it gives you magical powers. Sweet. Because if you eat cooked meat, you are a slave, and you have nothing to do with carnivore. Also, why you put salt on? Salt is rock. Mental nom. Et voila. The beef extraordinaire. Mmm, good. Well, Ted, thank you very much for your help with the practicalities of preparing the beef a la barbecue. The beef, yes. Uh, here is mine. I'm trying something a bit different today. I'm going to have mine blue instead of destroyed, according to Her Majesty. I just don't want it blue. Yeah, well, sure. we're gonna we're gonna try something a bit different in terms of the cookedness. Uh, obviously, the yellow blob in the middle there is butter, New Zealand butter, and the white stuff is unsweetened Greek-style yogurt with a very small amount of finely chopped garlic in it for a bit of flavor. Also, I'll be adding additional salt, because I always do. How's yours? Almost overcooked. Oh, come on. <laughs> Goodness me, everyone's a critic, aren't they? Right, anyway, thank you for joining Her Majesty Pim, Queen of Pirates, His Majesty, Lord Edward Yellow, and myself, the Field Marshal, for this um, outstanding, outstanding recipe called beef. Beef. There it is. See you soon.